This video is for educational purposes. Always remember to unplug before unplug from power before servicing any equipment and follow all safety guidelines for working on electrical equipment. All right, here we are with my Tatnix by Panasonic KMFM serial receiver SA400. Um, what we're going to do is try to figure out why it's it's not working. It worked fine when I first got it. Ran it for a couple of months and I plugged it into a different set of speakers. At that time, it kind of made a low frequency noise. The speaker actually pushed out a little bit and then it blew a fuse. I disconnected the speakers, put a new fuse in, started the stereo backup. The lights came on momentarily, but it again blew a fuse. So hopefully we can figure it out and hopefully this video can be helpful to somebody. Thanks. One of the great challenges to troubleshooting uh, circuits in place is that the readings oftentimes are false. So one of the things I'm looking for are just things that are different from each other. So we're going to be looking at these pins right here and these pins right here and attached to those, those pins are one of these Darlington power packs which is just uh, basically, I think, transistors. One thing that I've noticed is that on this one, we'll get a reading eight or 0.805, 0.55. I don't think those numbers are accurate, but if we measure the same thing over here, using the center pin as our positive you get kind of the same thing i'm not sure if this is the base or the emitter but when you go to this pin you get a direct short so i'm going to desolder i'm going to desolder that power pack and see what kind of numbers we get with it out of circuit power pack to the left is the one i just removed from the unit so we should have are positive here in this number pin number two and then we read I think around seven or eight hundred okay and then we move the negative to pin three and this one we get a, a direct short over here well so here's a good one We'll go with the positive on pin two. There's our 0.765. Then we move to pin three. And we have 0.561. Not a direct short. And we should be able to go backwards and just get nothing. Same thing over here, but I believe on the direct short. We still get the direct short because it flows in the other direction. So here on the right hand side, pin 9 is our negative. It's backwards. And um, pin 0 should get a reading. We do. On a pin 8, we get a short again, I believe. Over here on a new one, go with the negative. And here. Here we'll get 0.63 and 0.56. So here we get the short in this direction and again in this direction. So this is definitely one faulty part. There, there may be more. We'll find out in a minute. All right before I install my new power pack I want to make sure that we clean the surface and then reapply some new dielectric grease so that the new part can displace the heat correctly I just use the q-tip and some acetone rubbing alcohol works anything like that so make sure you get all the contaminants out of there um, before you install your new part Right, so our new part soldered in 
The last thing we have to do is change this fuse. That's the fuse that smoked. And uh, it's a 4 amp fuse. We're going to just put, place that fuse fired up and see if it blows it again. If it does, obviously there are further problems. Okay, well, here it goes. The moment of truth. It may just flash, but... Hmm, it's holding. You can hear the disbelief in my voice. I don't know why. Makes sense. If the transistor is dead short, then it's going to trip something. Our next step will be to hook it to some speakers and see what happens. Alright, so here we are. Plugged in holding got it hooked up to my iPod and it works we can balance to right and left yeah Seems to be working. Happy day. All right, so in closing, we got the heat sink back on, put dielectric grease um, between the heat sinks. Also, other notes I did test these capacitors with uh, this meter, and those were the numbers that I came up with. So the capacitors looked like they were fine. I also tested these diodes right here, the four diodes. Um, however, the test in place really came up inconclusive. So, um, hopefully this video is helpful to somebody. Again, it's just kind of a hobby and uh, be safe.